It's the first day of our, or of my week-long deer hunt in Iron County, Wisconsin. Hunting the public land up in the big woods, which is my favorite thing to do. Uh, saw the biggest buck I've ever seen up here. Maybe ever, but for sure while hunting. This morning I was on my stand for 15 minutes. And he stepped out, he's probably close to 100. He, if he was a, I think he was a 10-pointer. If he was a 10-pointer, he was probably 130 inches. That was an eight pointer, maybe like 120. I don't even have that buck on camera, so that's that's a good sign that bucks are moving through here, man. I was freaking out when I saw him. He stepped out at 60 yards, and uh, I had perfect wind, perfect hide, wasn't moving. Thought he was gonna come right to the bait. Just kind of sat there, made a rub, sat there for 10 minutes, turned around, and kept going. Because um, I I've never had him on camera, and he was upwind, so. I'm thinking maybe he didn't even know the bait was here because he's never been to this bait pile. He might have just been checking for does and moving on, but either way, that's a good sign. So, so it's good to see when you see that first deer to boost morale. A lot of days you don't see any deer up here, especially during an all-day sit when you haven't seen a deer yet. When you see a deer early, it makes you think you really got a good chance and makes it easier to sit for sure. I was gonna try and shoot that six pointer, but he just never gave me a chance. He's coming right to the bait, I thought, slam dunk, and then he just kind of stayed in the woods and kept moving. Uh, I had another little buck run around behind me, so it's three bucks, and I didn't have that six pointer on camera here either. So that's for sure, I couldn't tell what the one behind me was, but that's for sure two bucks before eight o'clock that I have never had on camera. So we are clearly in a good spot this morning. This is where the deer wanna be. Um, Usually our best time is from 9 to noon. That's when we get the most bucks on camera. And that's when we've killed the most bucks is from 9 to noon. So if you've seen three bucks already before 8 o'clock, I'm really liking my chances today. I don't have any strict uh, restrictions. If I see a, a buck that's exciting and I want to shoot him, I'm just going to shoot him. not going to think about, you know, A points or this wide or whatever. But seeing the bucks that I have, especially that nice one, um, the already this morning, probably going to hold off on a spike or a fork today, but unless it's a really big fork, which I have seen up here, so we will see. It's going to be an exciting set. in this opening right here and I have not gotten an arrow in a single one of them so the last one was the first one that I really actually did have a shot at um 30 yards broadside's not a bad shot I just thought he was coming to my bait so I'm gonna I figured I'd wait obviously I prefer 15 and uh he never did so he just kind of sped up and jumped off into the woods right when I thought he was gonna be to the bait but oh well I think I've learned my lesson on that kind of it's three bucks that I've had so far today, and during this area, not one of them has come to the bait pile. Um, it makes sense that they're not really looking for anything to eat right now. They're kind of just looking to keep on cruising and look for does. So even when we do get pictures of bucks on bait piles, usually it's like one picture and they're gone. Like they're not sticking around to eat, at least the bigger ones. But I mean, that was for sure two and a half, maybe even, a, it's sad to say, but unfortunately that might have been a three and a half year old deer up here. But I think he was two and a half. Um, but anyway, I've learned my lesson. Next time I get a shot at one, I'm gonna try and stop him uh, before he before he gets away. I'm not gonna wait for him to come to the bay pile. That's three bucks. That last buck was 11.50, which is I shot my buck in the sand at noon last year, so that's not that crazy. But I don't know. We'll see. Three bucks already. Maybe four. I saw a little one running around back there. I think it was a buck. Uh, but three, maybe four bucks already. It's not even noon. I mean, usually the mornings are better, but I still think there's a good chance we get something yet this afternoon. All right, it is 1.30. Um, I just had a doe come walk through the woods here. There's no chance for any footage, but I was just thinking to myself, it'd be nice if some does came up early in the afternoon to kind of bridge the gap. 
from the bucks I saw this morning to probably at three, four o'clock hour when I think it'll start to heat up again. Historically, one and two o'clock hour have been not great on cameras and just in hunting. But you never know during the rut. It's usually all morning up until noon and then it gets hot again at three, four. So I was just thinking to myself, well, it'd be cool if some does showed up to kind of bridge that gap and one did and then I, I don't know, I was looking the other way and I, I kind of moved when I saw her and she locked on me right away. She just looked up, turned right back around. So, well, that was my chance for some midday action, but at least it was a doe. If that was a buck, I'd be pretty disappointed in myself right now. I, I It's kind of surprising. I'm like, this is probably the stand that I have one of the best hides in. When I'm sitting down, it's like almost impossible to see me, but there's this one little window on my left that she picked me out of, but oh well. That's good, deer are on their feet all day. And then saw deer at noon, deer at 120, deer at 640, deer at 750, and deer at 815. So, and yeah, so not a bad set at all. A lot of times that's what you see in the whole season in Laird County. I've seen three, maybe four bucks already today. I cannot complain. Well, that'd be fourth time's a charm. I've tipped the can at four different bucks today. I finally had one come and do it up. I think I put a good shot on him. I'm gonna have to watch the footage. I think I heard him crash. He looked like he was hurting. I don't think he went too far, but I don't, I don't know for sure. We'll see when I look at the footage. I don't see my arrow. I'm gonna go down and look for blood in a little bit. I really don't know what to think. I think I put a good shot on him, but I just, I was shaking so bad because I'm so freaking cold. Oh, fourth time's a freaking charm. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed, but I think I put a good shot on him. Blood looks decent. I think I hit him far back. You can kind of, on a pretty steep angle, he was pretty close, so. There's some more. There's some more over there. Um, I don't think he's going to bleed like a crazy amount right away. Unless it came out, my arrow I think is still in him. Uh, he looked like he was hurting when he ran away. Um, he looked like he was hurting when he ran away. And I think I heard him crash, so I think he's, I think he's done. But I'm gonna go watch the footage and I'm gonna get my brother because I'm on a walking stick. <laughs> I got out of my walking boot two days ago from breaking my ankle after falling out of a tree, bear hunting, so we'll see. All right, well, we're back at the truck now. Um, we actually went out, got something to eat, coming back now to look for him. I think it should be a dead deer. The blood was decent right away, but, I mean, not a lot. I mean, enough to follow. But, I mean, he was quartering away, so when I go in on the lungs and liver, coming up from the top, if the arrow doesn't exit and buries in his shoulder up front, there's not going to be a lot of blood. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard him crash when you watch the footage. I didn't realize how dark that was on the GoPro. The GoPro does not, apparently GoPros are not good for low light situations, which I kind of figured, but... Um, that's when he came in, so I'm gonna go out and look now. I'm gonna hop out there. My brother's here with me to help drag, and hopefully we can get our hands on this buck. Well, we got really good blood. We're about 30, 40 yards into it, and it's just really spraying. Like I said, I think I heard him crash, so I'm not too worried. Um, this long grass is freaking tough, man. If you're, if you're following spotty blood through this long grass, you are, you're gonna lose it. There's just no way. I mean, you can tell. If he, if he goes drop, 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 and falls through the bottom of that, you never see it. But he's, he's just shooting all the way over into here. Yeah, right so he's, he's bleeding out both sides, then, huh? Well, that or every bone he's taking, it's spraying. spraying. So, like I said, I think he's done. We're just just a matter of finding him now. We're about 100 yards into, it and he's just spraying. Look at all the bubbles. That's straight long. Guys, got to say a lot of stuff about broadheads today, but all I can tell you is that expandable two-inch cut. If you can cut a big hole, if you pull back enough weight to do it, and you can cut a big hole in them. A bigger oh, one's better yeah. than a little one. There he is after an insane blood trail for almost 200 yards. We're pretty damn lucky. He ran straight towards the truck, but almost 200 yards. I mean, it was literally just like this. So literally 200 yards, guys. More than yeah, that. I mean, <clears throat> I guess they don't have the penetration as you can see, but you you shoot them with a with a big expandable like that, they they bleed. Well, I'm gonna get my hands on them. Ugh. Oh, he's stiff. Yeah, he's already really stiff. Knock fell off my, my luminock fell off, but yeah, I'm sure when I heard him crash, I'm sure that was him crashing because we've only 
we've only been gone for like two hours and he's already real real stiff so he's a nice buck i mean iron county he's probably a two and a half year old definitely at least a two and a half year old um in iron county it's freaking tough and it, it is what it is we choose hunt up here and we like it but anything any buck that's not a fork or a spike even a fork or a spike can be really tough to tough it's not easy and any buck that's not a fork or a spike that's a nice basket like this is is really truly a nice buck you don't get a chance at a buck like this every year in iron county and that's just the reality of it i don't know some guys laugh at it but um that's true so i'm pretty damn happy with him especially my foot i broke it got out of the got out of my walking boot on tuesday wednesday which was yesterday i put on two and a half miles baiting and checking cameras um yeah, foot's really sore my leg's really sore and after a rough start to the hunting season breaking my leg falling out of a bear stand uh, it's good to put an arrow in a nice deer like this. So I'm pretty pumped up about him. We're going to get him gutted out, get some better looks at him, and then get him out of here. I'm glad he ran in the right direction. Me too. <laughs> All right, well, here he is. Got him back to the truck. See, he's in a two inch, three blade, two inch. Went right through the shoulder, where it's a huge hole in him. Uh, you don't get as much penetration with the expandables, but you definitely get a much bigger hole. And I mean, you only need it so far. So he definitely did its work today. Um, when you shoot a heavy 125 grain with a 50 grain outsert and you pull them back over 70 pounds, uh, you usually don't have too much trouble going through one shoulder with one of these. So here he is. I'm happy to have him. He's even got, here, come look at this. He's even got a little mane on him. You've only seen this on one or two other bucks, but you can see his mane right here is pretty cool. That would have been a cool mount if he was a little bigger. That's a really cool piece of fur right there. But like I said, I mean, I broke my leg. I'm just recovering from a broken leg right now. Um, so getting to the stand usually takes you 10 minutes, took about 40 minutes this morning, and then another quite a while to get back there again tonight to drag him out. So I'm happy to have my tag filled and just have that weight off my shoulders because uh, it was going to be a lot of work if I had to walk into a stand every single day this week. So glad to have him. Like I said, this is a nice buck for, for up here, no doubt. I'm happy with him. And honestly, I'd probably shoot him first day if he walks by again. You know, basket seven like this <laughs> doesn't seem like much in most places, but on the public land of Iron County, Wisconsin, that's a uh, that's a trophy. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.